just like we promised, we were gonna make a video for you guys of our 2023 Volvo. VNL 860. That's right, there it is. So we haven't come up with a name for it. Maybe you wanna help us name it? Maybe, give Maybe. us something good. Yeah. Leave it down below in the comments. Keep it family friendly. That's right. And then make sure you go over and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe. So that way if we happen to pick something you suggest, you guys know that we picked it. Let's get into what this truck's all about. You guys know we have the pleasure of already driving a similar truck, but this is an upgraded model, which means lots of upgrades and a lot fancier. But the other one had a 13 speed. This one is an automatic. automatic. So let's deep dive into this truck. Hey guys, let's go ahead and start right in the driver's seat and the driver comfort. So this model definitely has some upgrades with the driver's seat. This seat is so nice. It has four different lumbar adjustments and then it also has a back cycle that moves the air. So it moves the back of the seat. So that way, if you start to get restless, it brings you a little bit of comfort and kind of helps just put pressure on your back in different areas. And then it also has a heat sensor, but then also there's some other adjustments. You can see it really moves up and down but there is a button on the side that you can just drop it and it drops straight to the floor without losing your settings so you can step out of the truck so that way it makes it easier when you go to step out you're closer to step and then when you get back in and you start the truck up it will just raise back up to your given seat position which i think is wonderful because i'm short and i have short legs so when i would get out of the seat it's to step down on the step it would be a huge step for me and getting back in the truck was really a hike to climb in. So I really like that feature. Thing about this seat is, and this is the only thing about an automatic that I will say that I like, but this seat, it really fully adjusts all the way up. So let's go ahead and put this seat back up. So you just flip the lever, it's airing back up, going into my position. There we go. That's where I have my seat setting. And you can see, I can actually have air. You saw the seat go up. I have air in my seat. I'm touching the pedals and I can see over the hood. That is the first in my career. 14 years, going on 15, that I've been driving a truck and I've always had to look through the steering wheel. Let's move on to the steering wheel. There is so many features on this steering wheel. Um, you can really control so many things. You got the headlights, the high beams, you can answer a call through that. Now we don't do it, we're a team, so you guys know we use a headset. You can turn up your music. You can do so many different features just by the move of your thumbs. So you don't have to be over here moving as much. You can do so many features right there. But just the way that the dash is contoured is really nice. And there's some extra features right here. There's an inset, so you can set your phone. You can set some other things um, right in there. Another thing that I like about this is this has a rubber mat. You guys know how grimy and grummy, like just dust. Like you're driving in the desert, dust and sand gets in your truck, I don't know. But you can take that out and you can actually clean it. Here there's an upgrade, you can see it has this little lever in here that adjusts to any size cups. You got your big cup and adjust down there to your small cups and it doesn't crush it. This cup's not very strong and it's not smashed. The other thing about it is that you can move it into different positions. So this can go the way over here. So both of them are adjustable. Right here you got your CB. Exits are also really nice, really nice and big. And you also got your side ones here that are in this space that slide, come down and can slide back up. So that way they can kind of meet for that sun glare. So moving on from the, from the sun visor, you guys, we're gonna go right up here this light because this is a nice feature. You have different settings. So right here you got the map light, you're playing white light, and then you have your blue light. And not just from your blue light, but there's two different settings. You got bright blue and you got light blue, which you guys know is really good. Different uh, lighting situations. If you're driving night, you start to get tired. You need a little bit. But then it also has a red light. The same thing, bright and dim. So those are all 
you know, you got five different colors right there on that light and it is also on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and jump around and give you guys a tour of the rest of the truck. All right, so right up here, you guys have this big cabinet and it does go back pretty far. You can fit a pretty good bit in there. You got your net compartments, which is really nice. Um, you can put stuff in there and it's not going to fall out. And again, mass matching over here on your passenger side. Your cubbies underneath. All these small cubbies, you would be surprised, make a huge difference when you're, you can put small things in there. Snacks, I don't know, all kinds of things. Here's the floor. Same thing. These rubber mats, three different sections. They can come out. You can already see. We have a gravel driveway, so they're already a little bit dirty. But you can see the lines right here where it snaps out and comes apart. You can take them out. You can scrub them. Like I told you, it was brand new. Look, there's still plastic on the carpet. All right, Lau, well, let's jump to the back of the cab. The first thing that we notice that they upgraded is going to be the curtain. It is one curtain which definitely has its uh, perks. And one of those is, is that you're not gonna have that seam that lets light in, that's impossible to keep a safe shut sometimes for you team drivers. But the thing is, is it is not very thick. So even though it is one piece, you can kind of see light in some of the seams. So we'll see how it works, how we like it. You guys know I normally put up another curtain on the bunk anyways. But then you go in, you have your cabinet, you have this upper cabinet put clothes up here in little cubicle boxes uh they're nice and big and then you got this section and there is a tv mount in here so you can put your tv then you got your wardrobe -er. i know some of you guys hang clothes but we find that that's not very helpful spoiler alert or i'm gonna try to put in my sink with hot running water you heard it right i'm gonna try it's been something i've been working on for like three years steady now i think i might find something Stay tuned to our video of what I do when I get a hold of this semi, how I make it into a micro tiny house on wheels and all the things that I do to put in it. So the sink coming in here. Then you got a bottom cabinet under here. Normally that's where Scott stores his Dr. Pepper. It is a nice big cabinet that's right on the ground. Dinette. Yes, it's really easy. It's you just pull a lever right here and it comes straight down and back up and it comes back into the wall uh another thing we've noticed already and we know this from the past you guys know we are picky sleepers we're not picky but we drive teams we drive a lot of miles and when you hit a pothole you can really feel it these cushions feel hard as a rock and who wants to have all those seams in your bed so we're going to try to upgrade it so we can still use the dinette and still have this uh in very early experiments years ago when we had this model we thought we could maybe sleep on the top bunk that didn't work. I don't know. Maybe we'll explore that option. But it does have a nice compact ladder that just folds out from here. It's really nice. Behind this cushion also is a storage compartment. It is really big. We like to keep extra sheets and bedding, towels, things like that underneath of there. Sound machine um, for when we're sleeping. You got storage right up here really wonderful all right guys so moving over to the other side of the table i want to highlight these lights back here you do have the blue light and two different things which you guys know is important when you're adjusting and go to bed uh the white bright lights is harder for your brain to relax and want to go to sleep so that is helpful if you're in your bunk and you're reading um and then you also have your reading light oh down underneath of the bunk you guys have your outlet so for those of you that don't know it helps the inverter run like you can plug right in like you're at your house so you can put your skillet in there and put it right on the table and you can start cooking great next thing we're going to go over here is to our refrigerator this dude is huge this freezer is huge i could probably fit two weeks worth of food in there it's amazing uh then we got our drawers so the drawers are carpeted on the inside that way it helps with the, the bump and the, the jiggle you got two drawers and then we've already went ahead and installed our microwave. Now the way to get these microwaves plugged in is there is a little shelf right underneath it here. So you have to pick this shelf up and take this drawer out. And behind here is your outlet. So there might be a lot of you that don't realize that there is outlets hidden behind here. There's also one on the other side of there um, hidden in your wardrobe. Uh, so more places to plug in. Really easy just get the drawers back in there. Um, but yeah, we like to put our microwave here. It has a strap in there to hold it in place. And then upper cabinets again. 
Then you got your uh, top bunk up there. There's nothing real fancy about the top bunk. You do have some storage up there. And in the side of these cabinets at the top, you have access to a little hole and you have a cup holder that folds down, extra lighting, but it's really nothing fancy about the top bunk. But we thought there was huge upgrades. We're gonna see how we can try to make it so we can have our custom sleep system with the Froley system and still use a dinette. Uh, get some running water in here and really turn this truck into a home. Uh, hopefully it inspires you guys. If you haven't seen this truck, check it out. Again, it's brand new, 2023. And if you saw our video, what we've been up to, and we also showed that there's still these little tags all over the truck. And this one was for the curtain and this area over here. And it was manufactured on 8-2-2022 that was back in august this truck is still brand new has hardly any miles on it it's just the miles that it took to deliver it but we're excited now the next video what's really going to be interesting is you guys stay tuned because i'm going to make a video of what it looks like once i get a hold of it and really put all that stuff into it so make sure you subscribe and follow us on facebook and instagram so you can get all those updates and we can't wait to see you guys all right bye